playbook. Y'all come in and holler at your boy. Been a minute. Been a while. It's outside chilling, man. You know, a beautiful day. Y'all come on up in here, man. Been a while since your boy been on, man. But we got to talk, you know. All right. So, the discussion. This is the discussion. We got to talk about the scriptures, man. And... It's a big problem amongst the children of Israel or, you know, the, the following of our people because there's so much differences. So many people trying to teach different shit. All right. Now, if you're not qualified to teach different shit, what happens is, or qualified to teach stuff, what happens is you'll get humbled by someone who knows more, who shows you up that you don't know anything. That's who I am. All right. A lot of folks take it as me talking shit or take it as me being boastful or taking it as me being uh, self-acclaimed or self-proclaimed. Look here. If y'all know what y'all say y'all know or if y'all have the knowledge that you say you have, it'll be simple to, to debate me. It wouldn't be a problem to debate me. It wouldn't be a problem to expose me if that's the case. I'm willing to debate anybody in the world that opposes the word of Yah. Okay? I got the book with me. I keep it with me. I hope you got yours. Because the clear thing the scripture talks about, it talks about Yah sending a prophet that was going to be raised from among our people, born today. Now, a big word going around is there is no prophets. Anybody that believe that there is no prophecy, y'all, please bring your ass on this post. Invite to go live so we can go live and I can embarrass you. Okay? Because if we don't have no prophets, how can we hear the words of y'all? Alright? Uh, number two. There's a lot of uh, beliefs going around that sex is marriage. Now, that's a bunch of bullshit. Sex is not marriage. Sex is a part of marriage. It's something that has to take place so marriage can happen. But sex is not marriage. Clearly, the things we talk about, it must have the scriptures. We must have y'all words. I ain't talking about opinions. You can make up some shit all day. Everybody got an opinion. Everybody on some fairy tale beliefs. But show me in the scriptures where it says sex is marriage. Show me in the scripture where we don't have no prophet of Yah. And pull your, your book out and expose me. If I'm false, if I'm fake, pull it out. Please tap the invite button. I will invite you on this live. You know what I'm saying? All right. Okay, how do I speak with so much authority? Man, I was just a regular old nigga. Just like meant everybody on this live. Just a regular nigga. I could have got killed. Riding on, you know what I'm saying? Rapping, doing all type of regular shit. Just like a regular person. Y'all woke me up. Told me, look here, man. If you humble yourself, I'll give you all this knowledge and wisdom and understand. I did that. I humbled myself. Most of y'all people who grew up with me, y'all see my life. Y'all know that, man. I humbled myself and let y'all give me this knowledge and wisdom and understanding. Now that I have it. People want to talk shit or uh, people want to try to say, well, it's not true or he ain't real. Well, why don't you debate me? So let's see. OK, it's going to be very simple. I got my book right here. Anything that you ask me, I can show you that. Now, what's so beautiful about this? Ain't nobody in the world like me. All right. I don't have no pen, no paper, no notes. I don't write no notes, period. Any one of you on my Facebook Live right now, we live, ask any question about y'all. I guarantee you I can go straight to the chapter and show you what y'all say about it. How many people that you know that can do that? How many? Now, this is not about bragging. We 
black people are in a very fucked up situation. A lot of people try to say, oh, we good. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. We good. No, you hiding behind that Facebook life. Shit real. People losing loved ones. Bills are getting the best of us. Relationships are fucked up. People dying left and right. Sickness. But you think that shit is blessing. You think that's okay. That's not fucking okay. And then Kanye West brings up that slavery was a choice. And is a choice. And y'all get mad want to kill the nigga and shit. And he telling the fucking truth. He telling the truth. Shit, if you go to work. If you go, you get up and go to work and clock in and clock out. You apply your job application. You are called a servant. A slave is nothing but a servant. Okay? We all are servants to something. When you clock in that job. And you do the work that they ask you to do or they tell you to do. Guess what? You are a willing slave, a willing servant, a willing participant. All right. So the slavery of black people came about when we disobeyed our creator because he laid in front of us blessings and curses. He gave us a choice. He said, look here, man, if y'all listen to me and serve me and do what I say, I'm going to put you on the heights of the mountains. You're going to rule the world. You're going to have, you're going to lend the people. They won't lend to you. You're going to be ahead and not to tell. But he clearly told us if y'all worship other gods and y'all disrespect my name and y'all don't listen to me, but be rebellious, all these curses should come upon you. And one of the curses was being ruled by our enemies, which are white people. Now, I'm not saying at all, so don't y'all try that shit. I'm saying white people, all white people are enemies. No, our creator sent y'all to oppress us. I cut white people hair. I cut Mexican people hair. I cut Chinese people hair. I see people all the time. And they, I meet some good white people. And they know me. And they know that I'm not racist. But what happens is we must understand our history. We must know what happened before us. And there will be some righteous people of the white folks that come with the children of Israel and become our people. There will be some unrighteous black people that cause us problems. That's what's causing us problems right now. That's why I'm here to do this live. I'm calling y'all weak ass out. Men with emotional female tendencies, y'all are not supposed to lead us, period. Y'all are just messing up for the, you know, messing up for our whole nation. Fighting women, killing women, jealous of women, degrading women. You want to be a woman so bad, shit, go on ahead and turn to one of them LGB motherfuckers and get your ass out the way, okay? Because you clearly in the way, man, holding up a good woman that could be useful for the children of Israel, useful to a good husband. man, and we ain't finna put down no woman. The only woman that gets put down is a woman who cheats on her husband. The only woman that gets put down is a woman who's going against Yah. Okay? So all those those niggas talking about they the king and shit. Uh people talking about sex is marriage, tag these motherfuckers, man, so they can come in and holler at Yahoo the man. Cause shit. Tag them right now. Cause I got the book. I wanna read this. Matter of fact. We finna read. We finna read some scripts. That's what we finna do. Now, to the people that's watching, you don't understand the situation or what y'all is doing for the children of Israel. I'm finna go straight to the scriptures and let y'all know exactly what's happening with us, how we got in this situation, and how we get out of this situation. Cause I am a prophet of Yah. Period. Watch this. And I can answer all your questions. If you got some questions, put them on there so I can answer them. Put me to test. Let me use this shit that I got, okay? Turn to Leviticus chapter 26. Leviticus chapter 26. Y'all turn with me to Leviticus chapter 26. All right. Leviticus 26. Oh. Um. All right. All right. This is right here is basically for the children of Israel. 
Leviticus 26. I'm going to start. Uh, what should we start? All right, I'm going to start 26 and 3. These are the words of Yah, children of Israel. It says, if you walk in my statutes and keep my commandments and perform them, then I will give you rain in this season. The land shall yield its produce and the trees of the field shall yield their fruit. Your threshing shall last to the time of its vintage and the vintage shall last to the time of its sowing. You see that? You shall eat your bread to the full and shall dwell in your land safely. This shit hadn't happened yet, children of Israel. This is a future prophecy if we listen to the words of Yah. Watch this. I will give peace in the land. See, Yah hasn't brought about peace yet, and we're definitely not in the land. So if we follow what Yah tells us to do, these things shall happen. Watch this. And you shall lie down and none will make you afraid. Now, right now, you can get your damn dough kicked in. The beer collector can pull up. You can get your car repossessed. But when these things happen, as y'all asked us, we shall lie down and none will make us afraid. All right. I will rid the land of evil beasts. Now, see, this is where the prophet comes in. At. See, people think evil beasts just means animals. No, this is not talking about animals. This is talking about our oppressors. This is a name that was put here to talk about our oppressors. I will read the land of evil beasts. All right. The sword will not go through your land. You will chase your enemies and they shall fall by the sword before you. You black folks can't do that shit right now. Y'all running. <laughs> Y'all running. It ain't no chasing your enemies. If you're chasing anybody, it's chasing your own, and that's damn so your brother. Watch this. Five of you shall chase a hundred, and a hundred of you shall put ten thousand to flight. Now, have you ever seen that shit happen before? Have you ever seen five people chase a hundred people? You haven't seen that shit. It only happened when we were taken into slavery. We were taken by few people, and it was thousands of us. All right? Your enemies shall fall by the sword before you. For I will look on you favorably and make you fruitful, multiply you, and confirm my covenant with you. Praise Yah. You shall eat the old harvest and clear out the old because of the new, I will set my tabernacle among you, and my soul shall not abhor you, which means hate. All right, so y'all tabernacle ain't even among us right now. All we got is fake ass churches. Okay, I will walk among you and be your God, and you shall be my people. See, this is showing you that y'all is clearly not walking among us right now. When we do what he say, that's when he will walk among us. 13, I am Yah, your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, that you should not be their slaves. Read that clearly, children of Israel. We are in the land of Egypt right now, and we are their slaves. So Yah has got to bring us out. Okay, when he brings us out, this is going to be past tense. I have broken your bands and your yoke and made you walk upright. See, we still got the yoke on us right now. Y'all ain't broke nothing down. Watch this, 14. But, but if you do not obey me and do not observe all these commandments, and if you despise my judgment and if your soul hates my judgments, that you do not perform all my commandments but break my covenant, I will also do this to you. Now, before I even get into this, see, the words of Yah is all I speak. My name is Yahuda Yah Tor. So I'm speaking Yah words. When y'all say I'm false, y'all saying Yah false, period. When y'all say I'm wrong, y'all saying Yah wrong, period. I'm reading straight from his words and they perfect. So for you to be bullshitting like that and disrespecting me 
But disrespecting y'all, watch this. This is what's going to happen to you. This is your current nightmare. This is your current reality. I will also even do this to you. I will even appoint terror over you. A wasting disease. A fever which shall consume the eyes and cause sorrow of heart. You shall sow your seed in vain, for your enemies shall eat it. I will set my face against you, and you shall be defeated before your enemies. Those that hate you shall reign over you, and you shall flee when no one pursues you. Children of Israel, is this not your living reality? Are you not amongst your enemies? Watch this. 18. And after all this, if you do not obey me, then I will punish you seven times more for your sins. I will break the pride of your power. I will make your heavens like iron and your earth like bronze. See, y'all sending niggas to prison and y'all don't even know that shit. Y'all want to blame the devil for it. The devil ain't doing shit. Y'all the one sending you to prison because you want to not obey him. Watch this. 20. And your strength shall be spent in vain. Niggas sitting in the prison 20, 30 years up in there getting strong and shit for nothing. Sitting there 10, 15 years in prison just wasting away. For your land shall not yield its produce, nor shall the trees of your land yield their fruit. Then if you walk contrary unto me and are not willing to obey me, I will bring on you seven times more plagues according to your sins. I will also send wild beasts among you. Remember what I said before. Wild beasts just means your oppressors. Watch this. I will send your oppressors among you, which shall rob you of your children and destroy your livestock and make you few in number. So tell me, is y'all not getting shot down? <laughs> is black people not being killed? By the oppressor? Are they children? Not being robbed? Watch this. 23. See, y'all just trying to make us get right. See, it's our God. He just, you know, chastising and supposed to bring about correction. But niggas don't want to be corrected. They want to be hard-headed as fuck. So that's why he on our ass like this. Watch this. And if you are not by these things reformed by me, but walk away from me, Contrary means walk away. Then I will also walk away from you. And I will punish you seven times for your sins. And I will bring a sword against you that will execute vengeance of the covenant. And when you are gathered together within your cities, I will send a pestilence among you. Do y'all remember what happened in Tulsa, Black Wall Street? Who the fuck you think sent that? It was y'all. He sent the white folks to bomb that place. Because y'all wasn't listening. Our people wasn't listening. So if you gather and try to fight the enemy without y'all, I guarantee you're going to die. Period. Yeah, Kanye West was right. Slavery was a choice. But if you think about fighting back without y'all, it's a guaranteed destruction. Period. Because you're fighting against y'all. Look, you say, well, you're gathered within your cities. I will send a pestilence among you. And you should be delivered into the hand of the enemy. So they'll come pick you up, put you in cuffs, slam your ass, take you up out your house. You won't be able to do shit. Damn, so Jesus won't save you. When I have cut off your supply of bread, ten women shall bake your bread in one oven. Look at this shit, people. Ten women shall bake your bread in one oven, and they shall bring back your bread by weight, and this you shall eat and not be satisfied. Y'all say it's ten women because it ain't no men already, and they're killing us off. We're going to be the rarest thing on earth. Okay, that's why a man is supposed to have more than one woman. This ain't no fucking argument, but y'all want to be solo, dolo. Y'all want to be your own and strong ass women. Keep being strong ass women. I need unselfish, righteous women to, to execute what y'all bringing about. All right, let's get back to these words. 27. And after all this, if you do not obey me, but walk away from me. Then I will also walk away from you in fury. I will even chastise you seven times for your sins. And you shall eat the flesh of your son, your flesh of your daughters. The flesh of your sons and you shall eat the flesh of your daughters. Excuse me. 
I will destroy your high places and cut down your incense altars and cast your carcasses, the lifeless forms of your idols. See, that's what happened when the dude went in South Carolina and shot those people up in that Christian church. All those people sat there and died in front of that Jesus. Because y'all words is being fulfilled. I will cast your carcasses on the lifeless forms of your idols. That's why they died in front of Jesus. That's why people die in the name of Jesus. Because Jesus is a false idol. Everything I have read to you from Leviticus chapter 26 is perfect and can no one deny this shit. If you don't believe in the Bible, I don't have no discussion for you. You just going to see what y'all doing in your life. Okay? My soul shall hate you, says Yah. See, you don't want to be hated by Yah. You out here going to church on Sunday and believing in Jesus and calling on these fake ass gods. Guess what? Yah said his soul shall hate you. So if Yah hates you, who going to win that exchange? You think you can beat Yah? The creator of the heavens and the earth? Hell no. Nah. 31. I will lay I will lay your cities waste and bring your sexual sanctuaries to desolation. I will not smell the fragrance of your sweet aromas. I will bring the land to desolations and your enemies who dwell in it shall be astonished at it. I will scatter you among the nations and draw out a sword after you. I'm going to pause right there. Let's stay right there on that one. Leviticus 26 and 33, it says, I will scatter you among the nations and draw out a sword after you. Now, let's talk about, we got to talk about that one. We must talk about that. Black people, I seen a few of y'all even post that through some drive-bys last night and y'all escaped and y'all made it out alive. What the fuck you think that is? That's a sword that was after you. It didn't get you. It made you run. It made you flee. The police pull the gun out. Freeze. Don't shoot. Pow, 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 pow. That's a sword that's after you. You running. We are in fear in our own communities. Drug dealers, rapists, unrighteous people. And y'all still here and mean to tell me that this shit ain't perfect, that the stuff I'm talking about is foolishness. You're going to fucking pay. Everybody that go against me is going to fucking pay. Just chill out. Think about what you're doing. Pay attention to these words and let's get this shit together because we the same people. We the fucking same. Y'all think I don't go through shit because I have this knowledge? Y'all is my protection and that's why I ain't worried about shit, period. I understand what's going on. I'm just trying to get you to understand. All right? Let's get back to these words, man, because this shit is real. All right? Then the land shall enjoy its Sabbath as long as it lies desolate and you are in your enemy's land. Where are we, people? Are we in our own land? Do you have to fucking pay taxes for your land? Are you in an apartment right now? Can you grow crops and go dig up some land and go do some shit? Hell no, you can't do that. Our land is by itself and it's desolate with nobody living there because it's the promised land. We are in our enemy's land. Period. Then the land shall rest and enjoy a Sabbath. As long as it lies desolate, it shall rest. For the time it did not rest on your Sabbaths when you dwelt in it. See, our people was in the promised land at one time. You know what I'm saying? We was in the promised land, but we not now. Y'all kicked us out. So we, our land is doing the Sabbaths on its own. And as for those of you who are left, I will send a faintness into their hearts in the land of their enemies. People, we still here? All right. The sound of a shaken leaf shall cause them to flee, and they shall flee as they're fleeing from a sword, and they shall fall when no one pursues. They shall stumble over one another. As if it were before a sword when no one pursues. And you should have no power to stand before your enemies. Period. All you uh, Harriet Tubman, Nat Turner, goddamn rebirth of a nation ass niggas. Want to talk about go to war and shit. 
there's some stuff finna happen. Okay? You're not gonna be able to stand before your enemies. Period. It's not gonna happen. Talking about, oh, let's gather. We got guns and shit. Go ahead. They got nukes. You ain't got y'all. How you gonna fight the enemy without y'all? Guaranteed destruction. Period. You shall perish among the nations, and the land of your enemies shall eat you up. Okay, ain't that what's happening to our people? <laughs> ain't they dying here in the land of America? Ain't they getting, they get buried in the ground, right? So the land of your enemies shall eat you up, period. And those of you who are left shall waste away in their iniquity in their enemies' land. So... When you get old and die here, old age, you ain't did nothing but just waste away in your enemy's land. That ain't shit to even brag about. That ain't nothing to brag about. I don't give a fuck if you got 95 years old and you died and you had $2 million and that shit fucking gone. That don't mean nothing. You wasted away. All right. Also in their father's iniquity, which are with them, they shall waste away. Now that clearly shows you that what our ancestors did is... Something we got to fucking admit. Something we got to repent from. Y'all keep saying, well, uh, I ain't, you know, they, they, on, they come on the slave ship. I'm already here. Shit, they came on the ship. We are, we are our ancestors. Crazy. We got to admit that. All right. Now, all the bad shit has been spoken of. This is the solution. Leviticus chapter 26, verse 40. But if they, the children of Israel, confess their iniquity and the iniquity of their fathers our ancestors which their unfaithfulness in which they were unfaithful to me and that they have walked away from me and that i have also walked away from them and brought them into the land of their enemies see black folks you are going to have to admit that y'all walked away from us and brought us into the land of our enemies you are going to have to to admit that we did turn the ear away from y'all and that we didn't care about y'all and we walked away from y'all. Admit it. That's the only way we gonna get up out of here. If their uncircumcised hearts are humbled and they accept their guilt, then I will remember my covenant. See, y'all got amnesia right now. See, y'all, he can, if you want to be ignorant, you don't think he can be ignorant too? When you accept what you did wrong, then y'all will remember the covenant with Jacob and the covenant with Isaac and the covenant with Abraham. I will remember. I will remember the land. The land shall also be left empty by them and enjoy its Sabbath while it lies desolate without them. See, our land is desolate, man. We are not in our land. So to you people that say, oh, I'm Native American. If you are Native American, you are not children of Israel. You are not from the children of Israel. So if that's what you claim, then this this right here isn't for you. You can stay Native. This isn't for you. This is for the people who were brought here by ship. All right. All right. They will accept their guilt because they despise my judgments and because their soul hated my statutes. So to you people who are hating what I post or ignoring what I post or trying to get at me about what I post is y'all's words that you are hating. Is y'all's statutes that you are going against. Watch this. 44. Yet for all that, when they are in the land of their enemies, I will not cast them away. Nor shall I hate them to utterly destroy them and break my covenant with them. See, we're in the inner land of our enemies, man. Y'all ain't trying to fuck us up. Y'all trying to give us a chance, man. Y'all trying to give us a chance. So ain't no excuses right now. For I am Yah their God. But for their sake, I will remember the covenant of their ancestors, whom I brought off the land of Egypt in the sight of the nations, that I might be their God. I yeah. All right. So that's I mean that's that's the answer. That's the reason why we're here. That's the reason why we're dying. That's the reason why we're punished. That's the way we're gonna get out. Any debate on that? Anybody wanna debate me on that? 
Anybody? All right. So, a lot of folks, oh, he, he in his feelings or he boasting. Man, I just, I got the words to, sh to shut niggas up. You know what I'm saying? Because if you, even though you may say you might not be corrected by these words, y'all going to punish you seven times more for your sin. And I'm chilling. I'm good. Why am I chilling? Well, we finna go to most scripture and show you why I'm chilling. Let's turn to Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 21. I'm going to show you why I'm chilling. Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 21. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Where is Ezekiel? Where you at, Ezekiel? Zeke. Oh, that's Solomon. There we go. Bam. There we go. Ezekiel 18. Man, this right here, this is some good stuff, man. This is some good information for y'all people, man. Let me read some of this, uh, some of my, my comments, man. Uh Nisa said, good morning. Such a great feeling to see you teaching and speaking the word. Praise Yah. Praise Yah. Shalom, Ah, Yahukanah. Praise Yah, Yahukanah. All right, Shalom, Akiyah. What it do? Praise Yah, man. I'm up here trying to get some straightening correction. I got to teach my people what's going on here. All right. Another, some more bullshit. I got to clear up. Everybody does not have to die. Anybody who told you that was lying, they some false prophets, okay? Everybody does not have to die. Watch this. Ezekiel 18, verse 21. All right. But if a wicked man turns from all his sins, which he has committed, keeps all my statutes, and does what is lawful and right, he shall surely live and he shall not die. None of the transgressions which he has committed shall be remembered against him. Why, y'all? Because of the righteousness which he has done, he shall live. Period. Talk to him, y'all. Do I have any pleasure at all that the wicked shall die, says y'all? And that not he should turn from his ways and live. Ooh, talk to him, y'all. So that's why I ain't tripping because I've turned from my wickedness and I ain't worried about perishing, period. You know what I'm saying? Because Yah doesn't want his people to perish. You know, it's a choice. You choose, if you choose disobedience, you choose death. If you choose obedience, you choose life. Watch this. But when a righteous man turns away from his righteousness, and commits iniquity and does according to all the abominations that a wicked man does. Shall he live? See, y'all ask you a question. Shall he live? Hell no, he ain't going to live. He's going to die, period. All of the righteousness which he has done shall not be remembered. Oh, shit. So he was righteous for 10 years, but once he turned wicked, it don't mean shit. Because of the unfaithfulness which he is guilty and... The sin which he has committed because of them, he shall die, period. See, I ain't worried about perishing. That's why I'm not worried because y'all words are perfect. 25, yet you say the way of y'all is not fair. Listen now, O house of Israel, is not my way which is fair and your ways which are unfair? When a righteous man turns away from his righteousness and commits iniquity and dies in it, it's because of the iniquity which he has done that he dies. He ain't die for nothing. Uh, a lot of it's good to grieve when somebody die, but goddamn, you know what I'm saying? Don't act like he was just an angel or the perfect person, because everybody who died and fucked up. Period. Again, when a wicked man turns from all, from the wickedness which he has committed and does what is lawful and right, he saves himself alive. He preserves his own life. I'm giving you knowledge and wisdom here. Ain't shit for you to be mad about. This is. Something that your church has never taught you. This is something that fake ass prophets have never taught you. The truth is here and there's no way to deny it. He preserves himself alive. 
How does he do that, y'all? Because he considers and turns away from all the transgressions which he committed. He shall surely live and he shall not die, period. See, this man thought about it. He was like, you know what, man? I'm tired of fucking up. He's like, you know what? I'm tired of fucking up. I'm going to chill. I don't want to die. I want to live. I want to be here for the people that love me. That's what happened. Yet the house of Israel say the way of Yah is not fair. It's not my ways which are fair and your ways which are unfair. Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel, everyone according to his ways, says Yah. Repent from all your transgressions so that iniquity won't be your ruin. So that sin won't kill you, niggas. Cast away from you all the transgressions which you have committed and get yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. For why would you die, O house of Israel, O black folks, O American Negro? For I have no pleasure in the death of one who dies, says Yah. Therefore turn and what? Live! Exclamation point. You have the your own choice right here. Turn and live. That's a fucking choice. Is that not a choice? And to the, the guys that's thinking about debating me or thinking about standing to me, you better think long about what the fuck you doing. I got plenty of videos on my page. Go watch it and learn something, man. Find something else to do. Because going against y'all is not nothing what you want to do, period. All right? I'm here for my nation. There are fake prophets. There are false kings. You will never see one like me. Read about me. I'm in the scripture. Read about you. You in the scripture. Isaiah chapter 1. Isaiah chapter 3. Isaiah chapter 11. Deuteronomy 18. I made a, uh, I got on the guy post the other day. I asked him, who is Deuteronomy 18? Niggas don't want to answer that question. They want to say, well, uh, well, he ain't seeing vision. You, you, he getting, the, he reading from a book. Damn right. We reading from a book, stupid nigga. How the fuck you think we got knowledge? I don't care what I got y'all words from. I got y'all words. Ain't nobody got it like this. So I'm here to teach my people. But you want to say, oh, Deuteronomy 18, you trying to say it's Joshua? You trying to say it's Jesus? It damn so ain't Jesus or no Joshua. Debate me on that and be humble. I don't want to have to debate nobody, but everybody talking stupid shit. I want to just go to the promised land, man. I want to just go be with y'all and stop being shot down and oppressed and have our own land and live peaceful and make children and build businesses and, you know, do what y'all put us here to do. That's all my desire is. Okay? I don't want to see you people perish. That's why the fuck I'm here on this live right now. I could be doing sh everything else. Man, I cut hair, I braid hair, I twist hair, I rap, I make music. I love women. I could be doing so much other shit. But I'm on live with the book in my hand, teaching. And, and, and niggas want to try to talk slick. Niggas want to try to plot up. Y'all my protection and my fortress, man. You fuck with me. You fuck with me, it's going to end bad for you, period. All right? Israel, I love y'all, man. I love y'all. My actions speak. Actions speak louder than words, okay? Period. Go check my page. Go look at these posts. Any questions y'all may have, I answer questions. I'm the question answerer. Any questions that may have to do with the words of Yah and the freedom of the children of Israel, I guarantee you I answer your questions. Period. Anything you want to know from y'all is why a person died. Whatever you want to know, why they ain't here, what's gonna happen when they coming back. The dead will come back alive. Stop all. Do your grieving for now, but learn from that shit. The dead gonna come back alive. They don't want to tell y'all that. Even the wicked motherfuckers that died, they come back alive. They got a purpose too. We'll talk about that on the next live or when they be brought back up. But the dead will be coming back alive. Cause y'all gotta show y'all. Who the fuck he is, man? Everybody got to see who the fuck he is. And I guarantee y'all, y'all ain't going to be calling on no Jesus, no Buddha, no fake-ass gods, no more, period. I'm out this bitch, man. Peace.